Yeah, hello again everybody, and welcome back to Fujit Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Today we're going to have a look at the new map, Molenjik. If that's how you pronounce it, I'm not from the Netherlands, so my pronunciation is pretty bad. I haven't played this map yet, but I must admit, looking at it, this map has so much potential. At the moment, I've got it in supremacy mode. This is the A cap, and we're going to look straight down the ranks there to the B cap. The C cap is nestled in the city. Now, what is it I like about this map? Well, firstly, it is big. I mean, this is a big map, and it has got so many areas that have so much potential for every single type of tank, hull down, fast lights. The only thing that I think, the only tank class that I think may struggle on this map are TDs. Um, because the TD positions, especially for supremacy, aren't that great, to be fair. That's not a bad thing, to be honest with you. I mean, the TDs are support tanks anyway. And therefore, you know, they're gonna have to stay close-ish to the action to give that support. But I'm expecting the pros to find some amazing areas. We're now going to come up to the sea cap, which is really nestled in this city area. And to be honest with you, this is going to be a hard fought cap. If you spawn on this side, obviously it's pretty easy to get into, but trying to take this cap ain't going to be that straightforward. It's not an easy cap to reset. And when we look at the overhead view, you will see that the options are limited. Same pretty much goes for the A cap, although the A cap is a lot easier to get to than that C cap. B cap is wide open from both the A and the B. Um, so it, but the thing about this map, it's got so many undulations, so many areas to hide your tank and stay safe, and so many potential sort of pinch points where you're gonna see some great battles. I mean, I think we're gonna see some great brawls around the C cap. I think you're gonna see some interesting brawls around that B cap. And the A cap is pretty much out in the open, but getting to it from the flanks, well, it's out in the open. You're going to be spotted and things are going to be interesting. I'm waiting to see the strats that the pros are going to pull on this one, to be perfectly honest with you, because they really show us which way to play the maps, which way is the best routes to the various bases. I have a feeling it's going to be a little bit like Middleburg, where we may get a lot of action around that C cap, pretty much like we everybody goes on middle go up, don't go into the city. This may be the reverse, go into the city, don't go up. Now we're looking at the overhead. It's a big map. Um, I love that. I mean, I love the fact it's a big map. There's a lot of ground to, to cross. And unlike maps like New Bay, the ground here is not sort of contained by a plethora of buildings. This one is very open. Think sort of Normandy, but unlike Normandy where the beach area pretty much isn't used, I can foresee a lot of this map being utilized. It's got so much potential. It really, really has. We're looking from the A cap here, and as you can see the flanks, I mean, I'm looking, this is a potential TD position from the other spawn. You're coming in, you can probably get some resets. But you're going to be spotted, especially with the new mechanics from the Russian lights. You know, it, it, this is why I love this map. Again, I haven't played it myself. I'm looking forward to playing it. But I can see so much potential here. I can see a very strategic type of gameplay. I can see, you know, the, the tanks having to actually play their roles a lot more. And a lot of players are going to come unstuck with this map because it's gonna take some time some, to get used to it, some time to get used to how it's gonna pan out, how it's gonna work, which route is the worst, which which route is the worst. From this spawn, yeah, I mean, it's an easy C cap, and resetting that C cap isn't gonna be that easy. You get a clear line down from the B cap, but you also get a clear line into the B cap. Now, the B cap is very difficult to reset from the flanks, we'll see, because it is sort of nestled between those four windmills with very high walls. So you've really got to approach it to reset it frontally. Okay, you've got some great little hills coming up. And if you've got a good tank with good gun depression, nice all down capacity, then you're gonna be able to do it because coming down that main road, either left or right, you can see there that's looking straight towards the A cap. 
And if I reverse, you, you'll look straight towards the C cap. But you're wide open there. So you're going to be looking at these sort of all down gun depression areas, the slopes running up. TD positioning, as I said, I mean, there are some TD positions, but you're not going to reset that B cap. So I'm expecting anybody from this spawn to take that A cap pretty quickly. And this is the TD position. And as you can see, you can see the B cap, but there's no way you can get shots into it. Those walls are just too high, unless, of course, you're driving an FV4005, probably sticks over the top. This is going to be a tricky one, but I have to admit, this is a beautiful map. The rendering is beautiful. The amount of detail, the undulations, the potential areas to go all down, to be aggressive, to be defensive, they're, they're really good. You know, really, this is one of the best maps I've seen. We have some great maps in, in Blitz. We have some pretty bad maps in Blitz. I mean, this is going to be a fantastic play for map. It's a bit different to what we've had recently. I mean, Ghost Factory, tricky map. This well this is completely the opposite i mean this is wide open so much potential and i'm loving it can't wait to see how it works out in action i certainly can't wait to see how the pros approach this one no doubt it is going to make a, um, a showing in the blitzed blaster open um which starts again on monday coming so I'm going to be, it's going to be intriguing to see how the pros play this one. What strats are they going to use? Which way are they going to go? But I'm seriously, I'm thinking it's, it's more like a Middleburg in reverse. Middleburg, everybody says, go up, avoid the city. This one's going to be, hit the city, avoid going to the A and the B cap. Only time will tell. That's my quick take on this beautiful, beautiful map that I can't wait to play in a, in a, in a proper game. Let me know what you think. If you played it, let me know which way you're going, which way has been more successful for you, because I'd love to know. I just think it's an amazing map, and I want more of these type of maps. Big, brawly, open area, great defensive positioning type maps, because I think it's great. I think this is a similar one to Alpenstadt in, in that respect, but I'm, I'm trying to work out, is there... Like in Alpenstadt, it, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, it, there's no symmetry to the spawns. I mean, one spawn has a, you know, a better way in than the other spawn. So I'll be interested to see how this one works out. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been my quick flyover from the new map, Molenjek, if I spell, if I pronounce that correctly. By all means, if you've played it, comment everything below. Let me know how this map feels, how it plays out for you, and how, what you think about it. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy. And seriously, I'm really looking forward to this map, really looking forward to playing it, really looking forward to see how the player base takes this one because I think it's lovely. Anyway, that's it for me from now. See you all again soon.